Marriott International will resume operation of the Yas Island Hotel, which will undergo a refurbishment period before opening another W Hotels brand. I'm Srakshi Rai, this is Shishra Srinivas, and you're watching What's Trending on Hotel Middle East. Now effective from July 1st, Marriott International will assume operation of the Yas Island Hotel, marking the debut of the brand in Abu Dhabi. It already has one operational in Dubai, with a second due to open on Palm Jumeirah this year. So Shishra, what do we know about this exciting new development so far? So across the hotel, there will be it will be refreshed and redesigned as per W Hotels brand standards with an upgrade to its lobby and pool facilities, but it will remain open to guests. Aldar said in a statement that the hotel is a key component of its Yas Island destination strategy. Now Yas Island is also set to welcome the new Warner Brothers world later this year. Now it will already build on all the attractions it has so far like Ferrari World um, and it also has a portfolio of seven hotels on the island. Yes, and this marks uh, Marriott International's 13th property in Abu Dhabi and it is one of seven hotels owned by Eldar on the island. So that's exciting. So add on to the strategies yes, as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And Alex Kirikides, who's the president and managing director for Middle East and Africa for Marriott International, released a statement he about this. And he said, we are delighted to work with Eldar to introduce W Hotels on Yas Island, bringing a new dimension to the luxury and lifestyle hospitality offering on the iconic landmark. However, just 24 hours after Aldar revealed that it will refurbish the Yas Viceroy Abu Dhabi and turn it into a W Hotel property, the firm announced that it's still working on another branded property with Viceroy Hotel Group in Abu Dhabi itself. So the relationship between the two will continue. Now, Aldar has not yet shared details about the project, though it has said that more information will be released in due course. Yes, and the, and the CEO of Viceroy Hotel Group, Bill Walsh, he released a statement. He said, we are excited by what the next chapter brings for Viceroy Hotel Group in the region. Aldar has been and will continue to be a very important partner. We look forward to working with them in the drive to position Abu Dhabi globally. So that's an interesting statement from both Marriott and Viceroy Hotel Group. Yes. Now, it's interesting to know that exactly one year ago, Viceroy on Dubai's Palm Jumeirah was taken over by its owner's Five Holdings. That's right. Since then, the dispute between the operator and Five Holdings has continued, and Five Holdings has also taken over operations of the under construction Jumeirah Village property, which was previously signed on with Viceroy as an operator. Yes, and actually, Viceroy um, Hotels and Resorts first entered the market back in 2011 by signing the deal to take over the Yas Island Hotel, as a matter of fact. Now, Five's property in Jumeirah Village was also previously signed on with Viceroy as an operator, and it's now listed on the Five Global Holdings website as Five Jumeirah Village Dubai. You can find more information on all the latest hospitality-related news on our website, hotelmidlease.com. That's all for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and don't forget to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. I'm Sarakshi Rai, this is Shishira Srinivas, and thanks so much for watching.